Hi, I'm Dr. James Mather from thehumplog.com, and welcome to today's how-to segment on field dressing deer. A key point of this segment is correct preparation before field dressing your deer. We're going to discuss why it's so important to have your deer positioned properly before starting the field dressing process, and why it's going to make things easier, safer, and more efficient. Stop spending time struggling trying to get your deer in the proper position. This can waste time and can also lead to injuries if a limb comes loose during this process. Instead, in this how-to video, we are going to show you how to field dress a deer using the innovative game peg system. The game peg system focuses on the concept of three-point restraint. The first step is anchoring the head and upper limbs. Once appropriately anchored, the next step is to attach the leg clips, which are eventually going to be used to get the animal's hind legs into proper position. The easy to use stainless steel carabiners are attached through a small incision made through the Achilles tendon of each leg. Once attached, it is time to anchor the deer's hind legs. This is accomplished using the innovative ratchet system that is attached to each of the carabiners, thus allowing you to apply the desired amount of tension to each of the back legs to allow you to obtain appropriate exposure to the area where you intend to work. Only now that your deer is in proper position are you ready to start your incisions. The first step in the field dressing process is gaining access to the abdominal cavity. This is best done through small incisions and finger dissection to avoid puncturing any of the abdominal organs. Once you can see the animal's intestines and have gained access, start working your way down towards the animal's pelvis, making sure to stay in the midline and keeping the bevel of your knife up to avoid puncturing any of the organs. At this point, you will need to extend your incision towards the animal's hind legs in order to dissect out the animal's bladder and lacrimal ducts, or in the case of a buck, the animal's genitals. At this point, we're going to focus our attention back towards the animal's head and focus on opening up the sternum. To accomplish this, cut down through the meat of the brisket until you reach the bones of the sternum. Once accomplished, the next step is to open up the bones themselves. This can be best accomplished either with the use of a bone saw or hatchet. You may then use your knife to free up the diaphragm along either side of the rib cage. At this time, using your hand and knife, you want to feel around to free up any attached inside structures. Being sure to reach as high into the chest cavity as possible and making sure to cut the esophagus and trachea as high up as you can reach. Once freed, pull the remainder of the organs down through the body cavity while freeing up any attached areas with your hand or knife. Once you get to the point where the kidneys are attached to the posterior aspect of the body, you will have to flip the deer on its side and continue to pull out the organs as you free up the remainder of the adhesions. The entire insides of the animal should come out as one complete unit. At this point, the animal can be returned back to the supine position and it's time to break the pelvis. Breaking the pelvis can be done either using a hatchet or a bone saw, whichever you find easier. To open up the pelvis, you need to break the pelvic bone on either side of the midline and then remove the small midline piece of bone. Once this piece of bone has been removed, use your knife to free up the area around the rectum and the anus so that the remainder of the intestines can eventually be pulled through. Finally, grab the remainder of the intestines and pull them through the area where you have opened up the pelvis. You may need to additionally use your knife or your hands to dissect away the remaining adhesions. Using this method, the entirety of the abdominal contents should come through as a single unit. We hope you have found this how-to video useful, and to get more information on the GamePegs units, please tune in to GamePegs.com and watch for our upcoming Kickstarter. 